Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the example for polynomial. The polynomial px, where we have the function given, has the factor x plus 3. So in here we have p, bracket, negative 3 equals to 0. When we mention the keyword factor, it means that the remainder is 0. And, for stop, remainder of 60 when divided by x minus 3. So another function, we have p3, which is equals to 60. Find the value a and b. So by referring to the situation, we have to substitute p, x. So p negative 3, we have the negative 3 to the power of 4. So we have 81. And then continue, if we substitute negative 27a. And then negative 7, multiply with the 9, minus, we have plus 12a, plus with the b, equals to 0. So in here, we have negative 15a plus with the b, plus with the 18 equals to 0. Rewrite the situation. So we have 15a minus b equals to 18. Equation 1. So continue. If we substitute 3, again, we will have 81. And then plus with the 27a. And then minus, we have 63. And then minus 12a plus with the b equals to 60. So here we have the 15a plus with the b. Equals to, we have 60, plus with the 63, minus with the 81. Then we have 15a plus with the b equals to 42. Second equation. So by referring to the situation, my suggestion would be making use of the equation 2 plus with the equation 1. Then we will have 30a equals to 60. So a is equals to 2. Kindly substitute the a is equal to 2 into the first equation. So meaning we will have 30 minus b equals to 18. So b is equal to 12. Meaning that we have the px equals to x to the power 4. And then we have the a, which is the 2. So we have 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 8x plus with the 12. That would be the polynomial. So it refers to the question again, hence, factorize completely. So next, we have to factorize the situation completely. Since we only have the one factor, so by using the try error method to find another factor. For example, we have p1. So we have 1 plus with the 2 minus 7 minus 8 plus with the 12. And if we calculate, we notice that p1 is equal to 0. So meaning that x minus 1 is a factor. For the px. So now we have two factor. The first one is x plus 3. The second one is x minus 1, which is also another factor. So my suggestion is to expand the situation. So if we have x plus 3 multiplied with x minus 1, then we have the situation x squared plus with the 2x minus 3. So make use of the long division. So we have x to the power 4 plus with the 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 8x plus with the 12. So here we have x squared plus with the 2x minus 3. So multiply with the x squared, so we have x to the power 4 plus with 2x cubed minus 3x squared. Then we have 0, then negative 4x squared, negative 8x plus with the 12. Continue, we have negative 4. So negative 4x squared and then negative 8x and then plus with the 12, then we have the remainder 0. So rewrite the situation in the standard form. So px is equal to, we have the q, x squared minus 4, multiply with the d, where we have x plus with the 3, and then x minus 1. So by referring to the calculator for the x squared minus 4, then we have x minus 2, and then x plus 2, and then x plus 3, and we have x minus 1. So that is the polynomial for px. So just for extra value, x equals to 2. x equals to negative 2. x equals to negative 3. x equals to 1 are roots. Then we have the zeros. r, negative 3, negative 2, 1, and 2. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.